The S353 structure is one of about a dozen water control structures on the Salapopka chain of lakes, and it's the only flood control structure. The Salapopka chain of lakes is a unique lake system located in eastern Citrus County, and it borders the Withlacoochee River. I'm Dr. Mark Fulkerson, a Chief Professional Engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Historically, water flowed out of the Salapopka chain of lakes through this area, through just natural wetlands, and those wetlands kind of controlled how much that could flow. If the Withcoochee River was real high, it would wash in and flood the lakes, and the lakes would drain back out to a certain point where it couldn't drain out anymore through those natural wetlands. Back in the 1950s and 1960s, there was a lot of high water flooding events that affected newly developed properties. The Army Corps of Engineers came in, and in the late 60s, they dug a canal and built this S353 structure. So it was completed in about 1968. We opened that structure to release excess water out of the lake chain back to the Withlacoochee River. It's very important that when the lakes are above their high levels that we are able to open that structure to move water out because if we can't, then the water in those lakes will keep rising if we keep getting more rain and that could potentially impact people's properties. This structure is over 50 years old and over time, things will deteriorate or need repairs or refurbishment. The district's annual inspection was completed where we identified a problem with the tow and sill drains at the structure. I'm Robin Bailey and I'm the Structure Operations Project Manager. The tow and sill drains provide relief from water pressure from underneath the spillway slab. If they were to collapse, it could cause an increase in water pressure from underneath the spillway, causing the spillway to fail. The scope of repairs included reconstruction of the spillway tow under drain, reconstruction of the sill under drain, injection of polyurethane grout to fill voids, and repair of concrete surfaces and joints. The repairs at S353 structure are complete, and the structure is fully functional and operating as designed. A drier than normal wet season really benefited the project because it allowed us to get it done this year. We really only open up this structure to try to maintain high levels. So when we get at that high level and we get more rainfall, we've got to release the water off the top to keep that nice high level. We'll never open up this structure and just drain the lake a foot. These repairs are gonna allow the structure to last for decades to come.